The California story has many chapters. It's a story of icons, of imagination, and challenging the status quo. A story you'll find at the Oakland Museum of California. The story of California, the story of you. Good news in Oakland! Oh yeah, it feels great. Good news in Oakland reporting from the Kaiser Center at the 2010 Mayoral Candidates Forum hosted by the Oakland Chamber of Commerce, League of Women Voters, and the Bay Area Business Roundtable with Mayoral Candidate Mr. Greg Harlan. Greg, welcome to Good News in Oakland. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. Hi, Stephanie. How are you doing? I'm doing excellent. Unfortunately, though, I have on my mind, as well as others, the audit deficiencies and issues that have come out, tax issues, budget crises, police officer salaries. I mean, it gets a bit confusing. How can we trust you as mayor to lead the city of Oakland? Well, Stephanie, I was one of the first people that brought some of these issues up about the, the pay of the police officers back in the first forum, also about the amount of police that we need. I, most of the candidates have wound up going to my website to do their research to find out what the problems are. I try to be as honest as I can, I try and inform myself as much as I can so that we can come up with the, re the best possible answer. Right now, the average police officer makes $170,000 a year in compensation. We have the most expensive city employees in the United States. Back in 2005, the Census Bureau did a survey of all the cities in the United States and the high, they were surveying for city employee compensation. The highest paid city employees in the United States were the city employees of Oakland. The problem is we cannot afford them and therefore we have half of a police force rather than a whole police force. We need a whole police force and that means that we're going to have to deal with some very big problems in our structural deficits. We also have huge unfunded pension plans and medical benefit plans. We Just in those two alone we have a medical benefit plan of six hundred million dollars and a pension plan of four hundred million dollars. That pension plan is closed. There's nobody else contributing to it. These are all retired employees and there's not one dollar funding for that pension plan. That's coming due next year. What we're going to do is wind up rolling it forward with the hope that we can bond it out thinking we're going to make seven and a half percent on our investment. Do you know anybody right now who can deliver seven and a half percent on an investment? But we tell ourselves that so we can just keep moving forward. We have to address these problems now rather than kick them on down the road to later on. Now assuming you and your administration address these issues, it's important that the, uh, that the public see in the media that these things are happening positively. What media strategy will you put in place to support local entities like Good News in Oakland and other media outlets that really want to present the good news? Well, the first thing we have to do is we have to perform. Unless the public sees us performing, they're not going to trust us at all. They're not going to give us any more money. I think if we can do a couple of things, my solution to the police is to, first of all, get the police to pay their pension, their 9% towards their pension like all the other employees do. The second thing is to get them to agree to take a small cut, probably 15 or 20%. The third thing is to get them to allow us to hire a second tier of officers. Every year we lose 50 police officers, at least 50 police officers, either through a retirement or uh, leaving towards for medical pensions. Anyway, we replace each one of those officers with a, an officer we can afford, and I want to hire them in at $50,000 plus benefits. That way, as time goes on, the police force costs less and less, and we pull, um, hire more and more. And definitely with those types of things happening, we should see some good things coming out of that. Greg, thank you so much for being on Good News in Oakland. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye. The California story has many chapters. It's a story of icons, of imagination, and challenging the status quo. A story you'll find at the Oakland Museum of California. The story of California. The story of you. Good news in Oakland! Oh yeah, it feels great.